So we're gonna start, we're gonna make breakfast. We're gonna show you today when we make breakfast that it is really pretty easy to put together homemade pancakes. There's just flour, baking powder, salt. You don't wanna to add too much and you don't wanna to add too little. Milk. Is that the only milk that would work or would soy milk work or would it give it a distinct flavor? You could definitely use soy milk, it would be fine. Pull it out. There's an egg. This is a duck egg that Lisa brought from her neighbor who has ducks. <laughs> Should we try it? Should we do it? Okay, cool. And butter. What is butter? <laughs> right? <laughs> so can everybody see I've got this nice batter here? There you go. You think you guys could all make pancakes? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> can you can you imagine they make them frozen and you would buy them frozen? No way, right? Given the amount of flour and everything, is a pancake breakfast a really good way to start off your day to give you the energy and the concentration you need? That, that's a really good question. What I would do is, along with my breakfast, I would kind of make sure that on your plate that you have yogurt with a few nuts and have fruit. So I would suggest oh, this. If you go flat like that, yeah. And that's because you want the blade to do all the work. So just be really careful. Just want to make sure you got all of the pit out, okay? This is like the prettiest banana I've ever seen. That's perfect. Um, where do you guys get all your fruit? We actually get our fruit from grocery stores. We try to buy it all organic or various farmers markets. If you didn't have these fruits at home, use the fruits you do have. Or if these fruits aren't in season, then use the fruits that are in season. You could drop a few of those in there. Oh, you made a smiley. Great. So we're gonna have these pancakes with real maple syrup. Anybody taste real maple syrup? Oh wow, it smells a lot different. It's completely different. That's it's what really you good. want. It's really good. Let's say you have three meals a day and a snack. 28 little opportunities a week, right? If most of those are really good, you're in good shape. And then we have an opportunity to make each meal a little better. Like we could have done half regular flour and half whole wheat flour. And that's why it's really, really important to learn how to cook because that's the only way you know what's in your food. We want to always be putting what we know into our bodies. We can prevent diseases by eating really good, wholesome foods that are fresh. And that's the whole point of this. We want to be healthy human beings, so we're really, really psyched that you came, and um, we hope we'll see you again.